One day away from Friday, five days away from April. Welcome to this March 27th edition of CNN Student News. I'm Carl Azus, working in Atlanta. See if you can ID me. I'm part of the U.S. Department of the Interior. In 1940, I was a combination of the Bureau of Fisheries and the Bureau of Biological Survey. My mission is to conserve and protect America's wildlife, plants, and fish. I'm the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and I do everything from enforce wildlife laws to restore fisheries. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is trying to protect and lend a helping fin to salmon in California. Parts of the state have been parched by extreme drought. And with water levels low, the fish have slimmer chances of surviving their annual migration up the Sacramento River. The trucking project you're about to see costs half a million dollars, and it comes with a bit of risk. The salmon might not know where to swim back to when it's their turn to spawn. In the quiet of the morning, more than 400,000 three- to four-month-old Chinook salmon are loaded into three tanker trucks, embarking on a four-hour journey. You can see their small silver bodies make their way through the clear tubes. Here's project manager Scott Hamelberg. We're just getting them closer to, to the ocean uh, for their release. It's a 300-mile trip. The young fish hauled from the fish hatchery in Anderson to the West Delta in Rio Vista, a route they usually swim. But this year, things are different. It's no secret California's scathing drought conditions have created low water levels. A situation the Department of Fish and Wildlife believes could be detrimental to the millions of migrating salmon at the mercy of predators. So they're getting a ride. In hopes that they'll survive better, contribute to the ocean fishery better in three years, uh, as opposed to having poor survival had we released them on station. And eventually contribute to the large, lucrative California salmon industry. Tuesday's fish haul is part of a much larger state and federal effort transferring millions of salmon downriver over the course of two months. There's uh, 12 million that'll come from our facility and then an additional 18 million that'll come from four other state facilities. A process the U.S. Department of Fish and Wildlife believes is crucial. We do what we need to do to get the job done.